Welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And that's right, baby, we're back for a third episode this week. My God. And with good reason. I just celebrated my one year anniversary having Filmstro as a sponsor for Film Learning. If you guys may or may not know, I use Filmstro on every single video that I've put out in the last 12 months. And if you don't know what Filmstro is, it's actually some scoring software that is actually reactive music. So you can actually score your film in real time while you're watching it. It is amazing software and I'm happy to have them on board as a sponsor. Now there's actually three different versions of Filmstro. There's Filmstro Pro, there's Filmstro for Premiere Pro, it's called the Premiere Pro Panel. And recently they've brought out Filmstro for Final Cut Pro X and they've asked me to talk about it today. So yes, this is a sponsored video, so we're gonna run that title card. This video sponsored, woo -hoo -hoo. God, I love that. So guys, right off the bat, I'm just gonna let you know, I do have a discount code for Filmstro Pro, which also includes the Premiere Pro panel and this version for Final Cut Pro X. And yes, you are reading that correctly. It's my gold. Still can't believe they let me do that. So guys, enough farting around, let's jump into Final Cut and check out Filmstro. Okay guys, so here we are in Final Cut. Wow, that sounded super weird. Anyway, as you can see, I already have a project open and I've already been playing around a bit with the Filmstro plugin. But let's take a look at how easy it is to select a song from the library. All we need to do is click this panel button right here to bring up the catalog. And from there, we can look at the collections and let's say click on a mood and I'm feeling adventurous, so why not click it? You can then demo any music you like. Let's just click the play button here on Parbat and blow out your ears. Now to see how the music reacts to customizing our three parameters here, just head down and play with them. If we move these down, it'll sound a lot more subtle like so. How awesome is that? It's the same score and the same track but it sounds completely different in less than three seconds in real time. Let's do that again, shall we? Now you can also search by say, instrument palette, but here's a super cool addition that I sincerely hope is coming to the Premiere Pro panel as well, a search function. I love this. Each of these tracks have metadata tags like epic or comedy, and we now have the ability to search those tags. So let's type in say epic. You can now see that all the tracks that pop up have epic in their tags. Very cool. But I do already have a track in mind, mainly because I've seen this video before, because I'm recording it. So I'm going to jump out of that, back into collections, over to action and conflict, and in here you'll see a big old green tick on the track called Turbulence. Another great feature that highlights the track that is in use. So let's close this out and do a little scoring. So we've got our video, and in this case it's a trailer for an epic war movie that Filmstro provided to me. So let's have a quick look at what I've got so far. Not bad, but let's see if we can get that wah to hit when the book closes and not after. So let's move our video track along a little bit to match up with our wah. There we go. Now let's have a listen to that. Oh yeah, that book is super dramatic now. I mean, that could work for everything. I mean, check this out. See what I mean? That toilet went from crappy eh, to epic in no time. And when you can make a toilet epic, you can take on the world. We can then trim the score to start at the beginning of the trailer. I think we might also fade it in and that is as easy as adding a keyframe to the waveform right here, adding a second keyframe, say here, and dragging that first keyframe back and down. And with a little adjusting, we now have our fade. Nice, huh? Now let's zero out momentum, depth, and power, and do a real-time score on this from scratch, now that we have all the beats in place. Now I wanna show you how easy it is to score a film or video in Filmstro. Firstly, let's expand down the audio animation. From there, we can select momentum, 
depth, or power very easily. So let's start with depth. This is essentially how deep or bassy the music goes. So let's find a point where we want the depth to change. Hmm, here feels right. So I'll head up, and then using the sliders, I'm going to increase the depth up. Add a keyframe, and then I'll head back to the start of our track, and using the sliders in the panel, I'll bust that all the way down. Now let's have a listen to that. Nice. Now let's play with momentum. So we have a nice quiet beginning before things start to ramp up with this title here. So let's use the slider to drag up our momentum. And just like with our depth, we're going to add a keyframe, say here on the timeline. And since we want this to ramp up quickly, let's add another keyframe pretty close and then bust that down. For your catapult, Mr. Ripley. <laughs> Not bad, but it's happening a little too soon. So let's grab those keyframes and just shuffle them over a little. <laughs> Much better. Now, time to add the power. Yeah. So, same rules apply here, gang. I really want to add a punch when this book closes, like BAM! So let's track forward, just after the shot cuts, add a keyframe, and bounce that slider up all the way. From there, we'll head to the point just before the book closes, right now, and then drag our slider back down, again creating another keyframe. Now, let's listen to that. Well, I think it's safe to say... Yeah, what he said. Now I'm going to quickly add another edit as we have another quiet part of the trailer and that is done the exact same way as before. The only difference being that we're lowering the momentum, depth and power here. But guys, after only 5 minutes of scoring, this is what we have. It was the same weekend, same weekend that it was his belt. You borrowing your catapult, Mr. Ripley. I feel like it's a complete non-point to say how easy was that gang because that was friggin easy. So guys that's gonna do it for this special sponsored Filmstro flavoured episode. If you did enjoy the episode and if you love Filmstro please smash that like button and hey if you are new here why not hit that subscribe button and hey even if you're not new make sure you turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single episode by clicking that bell. I've got two other Filmstro related episodes right over here as well as a playlist of some effects laden goodness right up here. My social media crap is above my head. And until next week rolls around, guys, keep learning.